What is up guys, it's Tony here and today I'm here with my dog Rocco. He's just chilling on the bed and I've got an unboxing and a setup and an installation of a Western Digital Green Caviar, Caviar Green, whatever it is, one terabyte drive. Uh, it's a pretty good 7200 RPM drive. I think it's 32 megabytes of cache. Uh, it's a pretty cool drive. It's pretty much the same drive I have in my computer already, except it's newer so it has more cache and it's a bit quicker. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this amazing drive. It's going to be a very boring video, I do agree. But, uh, because we've already done something very similar. In fact, we did something a little bit more exciting, where we opened up an external drive case. It is now magically opened by the power of editing. So now we can just hopefully put it on its side. Use one elbow, you guys can look at COD 4 over there. Oh, the game just ended. I think we lost. Actually, I think we might have won. Not bad. Anyway, there it is. One terabyte, Western Digital. Oh, 64 megabytes cache. Much more than I thought. I might have to use this as my main drive, which means I'll have to migrate all my files onto it. Because it's a lot faster than that uh, 8 megabyte of cache drive. So we're just getting it out of here. It actually seems a little bit thinner than the other drive. We'll actually do... Well, eh, it's about the same size. We might do a little comparison, maybe. And some information in there about internal hard drives. So now we're going to go straight into the case. No edits or anything. Oh, whoops, I just popped off the front panel. No editing or anything. And we're not even going to turn it off because we're rebels like that. And we're just going to unscrew it. As you can see, the, fan, the new fan's running beautifully in the machine. Also got that nice GTX 670 graphics card, if you can see that right there. I guess we'll see it better in a second. I've been loving the graphics card, by the way, for those who are wondering. It's been a great buy. Whoa, watch out, Rocco. I almost hit him in the head with the plate. There's the card. The drive is out, and it looks pretty, pretty normal. It looks like what you'd expect. Um, in terms of comparison to the other drive, let me just pull that out a little bit. It looks about the same in, like, every single way when you think about it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take out one of these bays. So we've got the drive, and the dog is inspecting it. He's going to do the screwing for us. Actually, no, he's not. Because he probably licked the drive, and that probably void the warranty. So yeah, my dog's very curious here. He's trying to get out some of these flathead screws. There's one. There is two. Oh, I dropped it. There it is. Uh, two. There is three. Come on, three. Oh, there it is. I almost had it. Three and four right there. Four. Four flathead screws. I actually looked into there, and it looks like there's a lot of those in there. So we're good to go for a while. My dog is burrowing in the sheets now. What are you doing? Rocco. Hi. Okay, let's make sure this drive is lined up. It doesn't look dry, dried up. It doesn't look lined up at the moment. I don't think it's in all the way. Let me see if I can secure this back. Okay, it's in nice in there. All four screws are in. And the puppy approves, right Rocco? Yes, he approves. So we're going to go ahead and put it into the sled bay. Bam, that was a very loud thump. Thunk, thump. Don't even know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, side back on. We're going to take the other side off and hook up the wires. I'll be right back. So while I was in the computer, I decided to turn it off so I can reroute everything. I'm going to reroute all my wires here for my SSD and my two drives. I also re-screwed in the solid state drive because if you watch that video, I put it in completely wrong. I actually put it in upside down and backwards, which made it very difficult to wire. So I decided to redo that. So basically, we got the power wire here. Power wire one. Go straight into the SSD. If I can get it in. It is being a bit of a pain. Actually, you know what? I might have to go the other way. Yeah. This way. There we go. So power one is in. And then going down the line, as you can see, it wraps up perfect. Power two. And then on the new Western Digital on the bottom, if you can see that, we are going to put power three. So they line up nice and neat. They make a nice little coiling texture. Uh, the white SATA is the high-speed SATA for the solid-state drive. 
You might notice, by the way, I'm using my light to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. This is the lower speed for the 8 megabytes of cache. Since it doesn't really, it's not really going to use the 6.0 gigabytes per second. And then this is another high speed for the 64 megabytes cache. Because I have a feeling it might use some of the capabilities of 6.0 since it is a very uh, fast drive in terms of the cache. So there you go, there's all of the drives set up, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and see if it boots up in one moment. So after an extremely long process of uh, sitting around, I mean literally it's midnight right now, a uh, long process of having problems trying to identify the drive, I finally got the Western Digital drive in the uh, computer and it's being recognized by the machine. The main problem I was having uh, was that I had everything plugged in and the SATA was plugged in, the power was plugged in, and I thought to myself, okay, everything's plugged in. And I went to look at the, uh, the control panel or the uh, computer, rather, my computer, and I didn't have a third drive there. So I kind of assumed there was something wrong. So I went to disk management, which is right here, and for some reason disk management wasn't showing the drive either. So I kept screwing around with it. I looked at bio, the BIOS. The BIOS said that the drive was installed. Eventually, after a lot of time of just trying it over and over again, it decided to show up in the uh, disk management. And uh, by the way, a little tip, tool tip for you guys, if you guys are installing a drive that has never been used before, you are going to need to go into disk management on your Windows computer, or I think on the Mac you could do the same thing by going to disk utility, and you're going to have to assign the drive a letter, which is something that you don't do on Mac, but it's something you do on Windows. So I assigned it the F letter, I named it Western Digital 64 Meg, and no, that does not mean that it has 64 megs of storage, it means that's, that's the cache. So that's how I identify which drive is which, because they're extremely different cache levels, and it's an easy way for me to know to switch one's which. <coughs> so anyway, sorry about that cough. I am extremely exhausted. I got a lot of work to do for English tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and start working on this project for English, and tomorrow I'll probably get this drive all set up to uh, uh, store all of my games, and I'll probably have the 8 megabyte file uh, drive storing all my footage from recording, and we'll probably have some really good videos uh, coming up soon. I'm sure you guys have seen a few of them already of some gaming that I've been doing on the PC. But that's pretty much it. I'm Tony. This is, gonna be the, this is probably going to be the last gaming setup video uh, for a while in terms of unboxings and installations uh, except for like accessories for the computer like the Logitech keyboard or Logitech keyboard, the Razer keyboard and mouse. So that's pretty much it man. I mean this is the last upgrade we're going to have for a while. Uh, the next upgrades may include a new graphics processor, uh, maybe a second, you know, doing SLI. Uh, also, the processor, I'm probably going to add a stock, a stock cooler. I'm probably going to add a third-party cooler, maybe even uh, water cooling. And I'm probably going to add maybe more drives, maybe a Blu-ray drive. We'll see, but that is pretty much it. I just want to make this video talking about the hard drive. I know it's a boring video, but at least you guys may have learned something about installing drives. I definitely did. And that's pretty much it. I'm Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.